Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Tenebris and the System Shock remake is going to be the ultimate sci-fi game. Look at you, hacker. A pathetic creature of meat and bone. How can you challenge a perfect immortal machine? You are an insect. You are nothing. My children, hacker. Their blood is on your hands. You will suffer for your transgressions. Transgressions. These are my avenging angels, and they will have retribution. A reboot of the classic game series that inspired decades of gaming. System Shock will be launching hopefully soon here, and it looks to be pretty frickin' amazing from the latest trailer. Rebuilding the game from the ground up, what started as a simple remaster evolved to the point of becoming a hard reboot on the franchise. Spanning almost half a decade, the story of System Shock's remake has been a wild ride so far. System Shock was a groundbreaking first-person action game originally released back in 1994. You take the role of a hacker who had been caught trying to access information about Citadel Station, a high-tech space station handling multiple forms of research, owned by Trioptimum Corporation. You get caught in the act, but instead of facing life in prison, you're tasked with hacking into Citadel Station itself and gaining access to Shodan the AI that controls the station. You successfully hack into Shodan and are given a rare military grade implant in return. As you undergo the six month process of implanting and recovering aboard the Citadel, Shodan goes completely berserk and takes over the whole station, using what was being researched in the station to create a veritable army of cyborgs, mutants, and robots. Shortly after waking up, you're contacted by Rebecca Lansing, She's trying to shut down Shodan before it uses a mining laser from aboard the station to attack the planet. Promising to help shut down the laser and wipe the hacker's involvement in Shodan's hacking, you then take off across the station to take down the rogue AI and ultimately save the planet. A simple but effective plot. The gameplay consisted of you fighting across the station, with a unique full body posture system allowing you to lean, crouch, and crawl through the environment. There were 16 guns to use in the game, dermal patches acted as stat increasing items and healing items with pros and cons to their usage, and lastly attachments like force fields and headlamps all that require energy management. And then there was Cyberspace, a unique side game that would help you get to new parts of the station. It was a dang good game for its time, and the remake is taking all of that gameplay, giving it a fresh coat of paint, adding to the potential that the original game had, from energy management to cyberspace to interacting with Shodan and finding your way across Citadel Station. Now, let's talk about the turbulent ride to get to where we are now with System Shock. So, back in 2012, Night Dive Studios got the rights to System Shock that had been unused since the original developers, Looking Glass Studios, closed down. Come 2015, things are starting to ramp up. A bunch of dudes that worked on Fallout New Vegas jump on, a successful Kickstarter raised something like $1.3 million, and things were good to go. Then came the requests for a console version, and that's where things got mucked up. The devs needed to switch game engines to make the game playable on consoles, so Night Dive started to move to Unreal 4, and then realized they could do a heck of a lot more with the game. So, two years after the successful Kickstarter, they put the project on hold to go back to the drawing board and take what was a remake and turn it into the reboot that we see today. Night Dive aimed for a 2020 release and couldn't quite make it due to COVID stuff and probably Cyberpunk 2077 taking up a lot of video game media attention. So now, 
in 2022, almost seven years later, we finally have the date as sometime to be announced in 2022 here. So from the time frame to the recent trailer to the partnering with a proper publisher, I'd say we're at the point where the System Shock remake will maybe finally launch here. It's like that famous phrase that floats around about video games. Something rushed is bad, and something delayed is eventually good. And I think that's what we'll see here with System Shock. The years have been put in, so hopefully the end result will simply just live up to be what it promised to be. A re-envisioned version of a classic video game. So, we'll probably see a bit more System Shock down the line when the game launches as a bit of side content for my channel, but for now, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.